The Spawn PK update that came on August 5th, 2019 introduced Blood Revenants, monsters that would roam across all corners of Spawn PK's deep wilderness, and they have some pretty impressive items that they drop. The Prize Key, which you can use on a Donator Mystery Box to guarantee a rare reward, or you can use it on a Mystery Chest for a better chance at Blood Diamond items, and the Grand Prize Key, which opens up a Mystery Chest for 7 rewards. Furthermore, these Blood Revenants have a 1 in 100 chance to spawn a Superior Blood Revenant. These Superior Blood Revenants have even better drop rates and quantities, and it even includes the blood chest which opens 5 donator mystery boxes at once, guaranteeing you at least one blood diamond item. But wait, there's more! On October 25th, 2019, Ryan released a second patch notes thread where risking blood orbs will now increase your chances to get superior blood revenants. If you have no blood orb at all, your chances are at a flat 1 in 100. If you have a lesser blood orb, it becomes 1 in 90. If you have a greater blood orb, your chances become 1 in 85. A master blood orb will result in a 1 in 70 chance. The Cursed Blood Orb is supposedly 1 in 50, though many players still believe that to this day, the Cursed Blood Orb isn't significant enough and doesn't really make much of a difference. The Wilderness Enrichment update on September 6, 2019 changed the game completely for Blood Revenants. Not only were both the original and superior forms buffed in terms of their drop tables, but the infamous Dragon Upgrade Scroll would now have a very rare chance to be dropped by Superior Blood Revenants. The drop rate for this is 1 out of 1000. And speaking of 1000, I am Mr. 1000, possessor of 1000 Cursed Tier 10 Emblems. It is a pleasure to meet you, but since we're friends, you can just call me noob. I would like to bring a new series to the channel known as the Mr. 1000 series, where I basically showcase any loot from videos, whether that be general gameplay, PVM, or hell, I could even see a PvP loot from 1000 player kills video. Just like the Spawn PK Library series, if you guys make any suggestions, I will definitely try my best to get it done. However, for my first 1000 task, I want to do 1000 Superior Blood Revenants. Now obviously this is going to take forever. So some even debate that this will take longer than the Road to 1000 Cursed Tier 10 series, but once this video goes live, my intention is to keep it going for at least once a week. And another thing, just because this series is running in the background doesn't mean I can't do more videos like this in the future. Some of these videos may take a really long time to produce as I want to do them legitimately, rather than using any type of monster spawner or nuker, but others can actually fit into one video, which leads me to today's video. Before I can show you guys the loot from 1000 Superior Blood Revenants in the form of consistent uploads, I need to show you guys the loot from 1000 Normal Blood Revenants. In terms of RSPS, my channel is predominantly spawn PK. We currently have 9 series on the channel and this new one will make us have 10. We will also have a total of 18 different playlists you guys can check out for their own unique styles of content. I take great pride in what I'm doing for the players on spawn PK, so if you want to show your appreciation for everything, the best way you guys could do that would just be to leave a simple like, and also shoot me a comment as I love responding to my viewers and having genuine interactions that ultimately leave a smile on my face. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys in the introduction. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> this will be crazy, but I'm thinking about loot from 1000 of these bad boys. Keep heavy track of it. All right, let's get these numbers. All right, so now that I've made a list of those items, we're gonna move it into its own tab. And then I'm basically gonna get rid of all of the extra shit right here. Uh, the blood rev tellies, I'll probably put on an alt. And I'm about to send the mystery chest. This is already a bumpy start. Ah, why is that a yell? A cudgel? Bro, I'm actually about to just like convert this one. Wrong problem. <laughs> Yo, oh, and then the one with no key, I get a Yoshi pet. Okay. Goodbye. 420, 420. Yo! Yo, I just hit the landmine. There's so many. I can't PK on this account like I do a cursed noob. It's a good thing my DPS is much higher. Okay, this is gonna be a little, like, crazy. Uh, new notepad. I'm gonna have to do that for sure. I think what I'll end up doing is I'll make a chart for all these items, and then every time I do blood rev, I'll update the progress. Dude, these blood revs just keep appearing everywhere, too. You know... Ironically, this helps us keep track of how many revs we killed too. We just got a prize key. Plug big dog. Dude, I think the curse doors can help and like our prize key and like just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven kills. Oh damn, nigga. That's a big ass drop. There he is. I knew there was gonna be a blood rev somewhere over in this area. Ooh, big 124 into the 92. 
And 18 blood money. Okay, keep it moving. This blood revenant catcher is the coolest thing. You can get it by speaking to Mr. Ricky Rick, sir. Costs about 500 mil. It is the blood revenant catcher. Really useful. Yo, I hit the fucking jackpot. He's gonna get that one. That's okay. I don't mind sharing. Let's keep it moving. Oh, we finally hit the multi line. Bro, there's even more. I'm specking them. On oh, God, I'm specking them. I'm taking them all out. Get them! Fourteen blood money, ten blood money, and then this rev. Eighteen blood money again. Oh, I got a hundred blood money. Hundred and twelve. <laughs> you know what? Maybe, just maybe, yeah, this is what I'm gonna start doing. If I see people of interest that I want to PK, for example, in this mage arena, they'll think I'm PVMing and then I'll come back and PK them. But only if he has a lot of money. Why is he saying leave me be? I'm not even in PvP yet. This guy must know what's good. He just knows me. He's got nine tokens though. We're gonna leave him be. I ain't I ain't trying to I ain't trying to knock somebody making some moolah like that that's still new. I'm only here if you risk. I'm already having a lot of fun with this. The reason why I made this series is because I noticed how much fun I was having doing blood revs on the Curse Noob account. It's just something's therapeutic about being able to chillax, talk to some friends, and play, you know, but you're still making money. I just really enjoy it, so I'm probably going to continue doing this at least every week alongside the Spawn PK library. I like finding things like this because it gives me more things to show for you guys every single week, and we get a consistent upload schedule going. Reading some YouTube comments from you guys while doing- Oh, no way, bro. I just got a fucking superior again. Oh, man. Yeah, let's put down the fortune genie and get ready to read more comments. So that one was 16 blood money. Y'all, come on. Let's do it. Chase Smith. Hey, I just want to let you know, videos like this are really awesome. All of the content you make is cool, but I find it really awesome that you make videos like this for an RSPS. Been watching your spawn PA content for three to four years now, and it's only gotten better. My dude, heart that comment for sure. And it looks like I got 200 mil. How much blood money? And then the special restore. Yo, more revs. How many can we find in this little corner? Just two? Just two. Oh my, yo, Duff, come down here. I'm gonna share with you, bro. Look, there's like three you missed out. All right, one of us is gonna get a superior for sharing. Of course. Fuck. <gasps> PvP mystery box, 14 blood money. Oh my god, bro, another one? What is this, the third one of the video already? Bro. <laughs> good karma, good karma. Times two PvP mystery box. 400 blood money? What the? Oh, the blood daily revenant bonus just got done. We're definitely gonna, you know, add that into it too. So, all right, everything's been documented. Another fucking superior, bruh. Alright, game on, superior. Good luck. Alright, let's see what we get. Bro, I have the worst luck. Oh, there's no way I just did that. Yeah, uh, we're gonna see how thousand goes and whether or not I get a thousand, like, uh, depending on how fast, I might do 1,000 superior blood revs. I think I'm actually gonna go, like, I'm actually gonna be about it too. Like, I don't know. I picked up the title Mr. 1000 after, you know, the Road to 1000 Cursed Tier 10s, and I, I kinda wanna keep that going with different shit.
Could also add in a sled, honestly. I could do that too. I could do a whole bunch of things. I haven't yet. All right, that is going to wrap things up for the night. I'm going to wake up early in the morning in approximately seven hours and do another 300. Might as well make it 301. While we're on the topic of viewing comments, I want to read some more out to you guys because your guys' comments are really awesome. This one came in from Kwai. Actually, I started watching you relatively late after I joined the server a while ago. Your content span is very good for what the server offers. You as a person is just fun to watch. First of all, you are really good in every combat style, and you can even learn things by just watching your streams. All in one, you are an entertaining streamer who sees things from different angles. Your argumentations for your age is also very advanced. I would love to see a fully edited to PK montage like a few minutes long. Keep up the great work, Tev. P.S. Sorry for the bad English. No problem at all, man. You should never feel bad about language barriers. I understood completely, and I appreciate your support. I think a PK montage would be pretty badass, one that's really lengthy but has some really trippy edits incorporated into it, as I've been wanting to work on my editing skills as a whole. Alright, this is what we managed to make so far from the Blood Revs, the 300. This isn't too bad. The only thing I'm interested in right now is to see how much the 6,247 blood money would cost. This is actually about 93 bill in the event that I sold it at 15 mil each. All right, we've made our first 100 bill. But is the only thing that I found of interest. We'll drop the fort, so we'll drop the fort so we don't pick it up. So, this was the overall loot from 1,000 Blood Revenants. The blood money, if sold at 15 mil each, would approximately be 296 bill. Blood chests go for about 125 bill each, and I believe it was a times two drop, so that's an easy 250 bill. I came to a total of 175 bill for all of the other stuff, such as the keys and the mystery boxes. This puts us at approximately 721 bill made from 1,000 Blood Revenants. At first, I said the loot was pretty trash, but after reviewing all of the footage and editing this video, I definitely retract my statement and I say that's pretty damn good money. If you guys are excited for episode number one of the Road to 1000 Superior Blood Revenant series, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Each video on this topic from this point forth will feature a $75 giveaway and a hidden 100 bill cash prize. To enter the giveaway, all you need to do is be subscribed to my channel, like the video, and comment your in-game username. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Not Your Average Noob, signing off.